Hi folks, and welcome back to Meaningful Money. Here I am back at uh, Merry Maidens. Uh, been here before, but it's uh, quite convenient for me. It's quite close to where I live. Um, and it's a lovely Sunday afternoon, a little bit windy, but um, nice and sunny and clear. Now we're on what, episode 104 now, and we're gonna talk about uh, what to do in the event of you getting a windfall, a sort of sudden influx of money from some source or other. Um, before we do that though, it just uh, remains for me uh, again to say thank you to my good friends at Seven Investment Management who sponsor the show, so thank you to them. Um, how you could get a windfall could be several different ways really, perhaps a lottery win or a pools win. Uh, an inheritance from a, a, a departed loved one or even a departed somebody you've never met but they still thought enough of you to leave you some money. Um, maybe you know, um, you've had a rebate back from the tax man, perhaps you've paid too much tax over the years or something or even just like the water board. Or maybe perhaps more negatively you've recently been made redundant and you've had a redundancy payment. So what should you do when you are in receipt of a lump sum of money? Uh, for whatever reason. So just a few tips here. The first thing to do is to just check the tax situation on the money that you've received. Now chances are it's not going to be an issue at all. Uh, if you get an inheritance, well uh, by the time you get the money any inheritance tax payable by the estate of the person who's died should have been sorted anyway so you haven't got any tax to pay. Um, if you win the lottery or the pools uh, then you know, there's no uh, tax to pay on those wins uh, anyway. Uh, if you're getting a rebate from the revenue or the water board, well, that's just your own money back. So no tax to pay on that, obviously. Um, and even in uh, the event of redundancy, the first 30,000 pounds of any redundancy payment is tax free. Anything in excess of that uh, is tax, uh, taxed rather at, uh, at your normal rate of uh, income tax. But by the time you get your redundancy payment, that will almost certainly have been taken off anyway. So chances are there's no tax issues uh, with any uh, money that you might get, any windfall money, but you just never know. So double check, okay? The last thing you would want is to um, assign that money, either invest it or spend it, and then realize you've got to pay the tax man. Okay, so just uh, double check that. Second thing to do is to um, clear any debt that you've got, any short-term debt now, unsecured debt, so you know, overdrafts, uh, personal loans, credit cards, things like that. Simply, there's no point having, you know, 10 grand in the bank, uh, earning you 3% and paying 19% on a credit card balance. That doesn't make any sense at all. Best to pay off the credit card balance um, uh, you know, it's much better use of the money. No point paying unnecessary interest if you've got money in the bank. Um, so pay off any short-term uh, unsecured debt. Uh, the opposite of unsecured is secured, and that usually means a mortgage, uh, a loan which is secured on a property. So uh, you think about doing that. So check the tax, pay off any short-term debt. Once you've covered those two bases, then you've got a couple of other things to think about. Really, it's then what plans do you have uh, for this money? Um, put this money in the context of your overall financial planning. So you need to balance then your short-term and your long-term needs. So maybe, for example, you are um, saving up money every month, um, perhaps to send your kids to university or saving up for a wedding fund for your daughter or something. Well, it might be that instead, using this windfall that you've received, you could sort of ring fence a bit of that money and invest that for the long term, which might then free up uh, money on a monthly, regular basis. So instead of saving regularly into those things, you could say, well, I'm going to use £5,000 of that money, invest it and sort of forget about it, let it do its thing. And suddenly I'm 100 quid a month better off because I'm no longer saving regularly for those things. On the other hand, you may have a short-term need. Maybe you want to decorate the lounge. That's a hot topic in our house at the moment. And so you obviously might want to uh, put some of that money towards that instead and keep paying the regular payment for your long-term aims. So just balance long-term and short-term. Think about where that money might be best used. The final thing that you absolutely must do when you get a windfall is to enjoy some of it. So buy something nice, right? Okay order an iPad or whatever. Uh, that's something nice that I would have, obviously. But um, just do something nice, have a holiday, enjoy the money, particularly if it's unexpected. But anyway, you know, take, get some enjoyment out of money. Remember, 
money is not an end in itself it's all about enabling you to do the things you want in life so if what you want to do is have a holiday then by all means do it um, uh, money is an enabler so use it as such obviously what you do with any windfall depends on the size of it okay if you win 113 million pounds on the euro millions lottery it's a little bit different to getting a 600 quid tax rebate um, so the size of the win or the uh, windfall will depend on you know will um, govern what you do with it as will the time of life that you're at obviously if you've got a young family your plans for what you might do with that money will be different to if you are in your 70s or 80s and your family have all grown up um, so those things will also inform what you do with the money but remember overall to, there must be a reason for investing any money um, there is a possibility when you get a windfall that it can sort of blow apart your plans and just suddenly it changes everything uh, again depends on the size but take a step back relax think about the money and what you might use it for think of it in the context of your financial planning and take your time beware of uh, phone calls from your bank who may see a larger than normal balance in your current account and will almost certainly within 24 hours be on the phone to you saying would you like to see our financial advisor sir the answer to that is emphatically not at least not yet let me just think about it let me get my head around this extra money that i've received and see how it fits into my plan so just take your time relax and um, think about what you're going to do there's only really uh, well, perhaps I'll phrase it differently. Uh, you must have a reason to invest. So yes, it might save tax or it might give you a better chance of achieving your goals or whatever, but you never invest money simply to make it work harder. You might remember I put that in my Room 101 a couple of videos ago. Um, have a reason to invest. So when you get a windfall, stop, think about it and invest uh, some or all of it or none of it, uh, but think about it in the context of your overall plan. I okay, hope that's helpful. From here, I'm going to spend the next four videos um, talking about uh, what I'm going to call success factors, factors which affect your investing and which can uh, be the keys either to winning or failing at your financial planning. Because, so the next one uh, is going to be the first one of those. So thank you for watching. From Merry Maidens, I'll see you next time.